Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of Google Shopping Feed app by Simprosis. In this video, we are going to see the process to submit feed to multiple countries from our app. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing, and press the bell icon to get notified instantly once we upload any new video. Now, let us see the procedure to submit the feed for multiple countries. The feed submission to multiple countries depends upon the language you select, as default in the app. Our app, based on Google's policies for multi-country feed submission, will only be able to submit the feed to those countries where the default language selected in the app is accepted. For example, if the default language selected in the app is English, then you will be able to select all the countries where English language feed is accepted. Also, make sure you select the same language that is used to create default content on your website and not through any translation app. As of now, we don't work with any translation app on Shopify. We have given the link in the description of Google documentation on right language and currency for more understanding. Now, we will see the steps for feed submission. Here, in this demo store we have English as a default language selected and US as the primary target country. We are on our app settings page. Now from the settings dropdown, go to Google Sync settings. In Google Sync settings, go to submit feed to additional countries and press manage additional countries button. Please refer to this section to know the points to be followed while submitting your feed for additional countries. Here are all the listed countries where English as language is accepted and to which you can submit your feed. In this we will submit the feed for United Kingdom. So, we'll select it and save it. Once we enable the country, we will be asked to approve the charge for the countries we have added. Once you add or remove the additional countries, you will have to activate the new charge based on number of countries you have selected in the previous page and your current charge will automatically get cancelled, and, a new charge will get activated. Make sure you don't opt for more than two countries at a time. Submitting products in too many countries at a time, may trigger manual or stricter review process. It may lead to suspension of Merchant Center too. Also, make sure that, feed submitted for primary country is approved in the Merchant Center. Once your feed for primary country is approved for most of the products, then you should submit the feed to another two countries at a time from our app. We recommend to do that, as solving the errors one by one for each country to which the feed is submitted, will save you from Merchant Center suspension. Products submitted for additional countries may take up to five business days to get approved, if there are no errors, on them. Also, make sure you have added the shipping settings for each country of target in the Merchant Center's shipping settings section. For more information about shipping settings, kindly go through the video link given in the description. Once products are approved for the current batch of additional countries, you can add more countries by following the process again, given in this video. Also, we would like to inform you that there is no such thing as, submission of feed to multiple countries for Bing, like for, Google Shopping. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel if you are interested to learn more about Google AdWords and other kinds of digital marketing. We are working to start a completely free course on YouTube that will help you learn digital marketing through Google, Facebook, and other marketing channels. Please refer to our other related help videos. See you again in another video.